Hey, what is good everyone? For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go over on how to enable ECG for your Series 4 Apple Watch. So if you recently updated your Series 4 to the latest firmware, watchOS 5.1.2 or newer, you may have noticed this new app. That's the ECG app. Once you click on it, a message will appear letting you know you need to open up the health app. Then if you go ahead and do that on your iOS device, nothing's gonna pop up about an ECG. That is because you need to be running iOS 12 1.2 or newer, which supports ECG. So if you wanna enable this during the time of making this video, you need to either enroll for the developer beta or the public beta. The public beta literally only takes a few seconds to enroll. So if you really wanna unlock this now, I'll leave a link to an article in the video description down below because the process literally only takes a few seconds. But once you are all updated or you're in the future on the latest iOS, these are the steps you need to take to enable this. By the way, unfortunately, at the time of making this video, there's no words when this is gonna be available outside the US. Currently, this is only available if you live in the US. But if an announcement does come out from Apple, letting us know when this will become available in other regions, I'll be sure to pin it in the comment section down below. Now there's a few ways to set it up. I'm gonna show you the way that works for everyone. Don't go to the health app, go to your Apple Watch app, and on this menu, scroll down to heart. Tap the heart icon, and then in this menu, you're gonna see the setup ECG. Simply tap on that, it's gonna then take you to the health app, and then this little window will pop up. At first, when I did this directly from the health app, nothing would pop up. So I then tried that and that was guaranteed to work. So recommend doing it this way. But once you do all that, there's a bunch of disclaimers that Apple is gonna be telling you. Like don't rely on the Apple Watch, it's not a real medical doctor. If you're experiencing pain, seek medical help ASAP, talk to your doctor, don't rely on the Apple Watch. So that's all that they're just really just telling you. But once you complete this process, you could then go back to your Apple Watch, relaunch that ECG app, and then this menu will pop up. This is basically just telling you like, make sure the Apple Watch is snug on your wrist and that your current watch is either on the left or right side. So once that's all done, you can simply just click on okay and then the heart animation will take shape. At this point, you're pretty much all set and just simply take your finger and place it over the crown and hold it for a good 30 seconds. You're gonna be able to see the live results as well as your heart rate. And looking at the screen, not sure if I should be concerned or go ahead and talk to my doctor ASAP because I recently got done running a mile, but that was like an hour ago. Hmm, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. But that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it on how to set up your ECG app during this time, as well as in the future once you have everything updated. So if you found this video informative, useful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as that on lets me know, but that also strongly helps support the channel. It's like a little tip for me. And if you'd like to see more videos, want to find out if I survive, make sure to subscribe as I pretty much just cover anything tech related. I always just enjoyed sharing it all with you guys. But as always, take care and see you in the next video. Peace.